Today I'm going to be stitching on this one. This is a Riolis piece. When nothing goes right, go lift. Welcome back to a random stitcher and thank you for stopping by. If you are new to my channel and you're looking for a channel that is all about all kinds of cross stitch, you come to the right place. So welcome and let's get started. Yeah, so um, go lift. As I said from Riolis, I purchased it for eight. 18 euros and 99 it arrived uh, March 26 I uh, cannot remember when I purchased it but I think there was two weeks delivery yeah so it is 30 by uh, 21 centimeters in size and size stitching is 146 by 110 it is a partial and there is I have kind of try to count and it is about 6,000 but it's only about because it, it's hard to count when it's not in pattern keeper and this is a partial so yeah it is a, done on a 14 count white Swigert Ada and there is 11 colors and there will be full crosses half uh, crosses and back stitching and the floss is quite special because it's uh, my first time using it and it is a wool acrylic floss. So I started it yesterday a little bit. And yeah, I put up a poll. Um, I put up a... Is it called a poll? Yeah. Um, on YouTube, ask you, would you like me to stitch on a counted or a stamped one Friday? So... Uh, I think it was 64% of you, surprisingly enough, that chose a uh, counted. I'm quite surprised about that. I thought there was a lot of you who uh, would like, <laughs> who enjoy stamped. So, but yeah, uh, I'm happy with both. So that's fine. The only thing is, it can be hard for me to concentrate when I'm doing a counted. But I'm going to try my best today. I'm not, I don't think I'm going, let's see how it goes. But um if I find it very hard to concentrate and I cannot continuously stop working because I have the dog, then I might do a voiceover. But let's see how it goes. Yeah. So the floss that came with this piece is uh, this. comes like this. So um, as you can see, I have done a little bit on the roof of the car. And a little bit of, yeah, here's the back end, the front end is here. And I was thinking that I kind of, where my needle is, kind of do some pink here that is, um, yeah, right below the um, side window. So I was thinking about that. And at the chart, I can see there's some symbols here down here so you have to be aware i don't know if you're used to riolis but um, sometimes for example number this symbol here and this symbol here that is the same color you can see up here color one uh, but this one is only half stitch and this one is a full stitch this one is only one thread and this is two thread so you really need to be aware of that and uh, i can see the one i am going to stitch with is that one with the... so that is this one so this is what i'm going to be stitching with today and it is a full cross and it is number one so this is this one uh, the special thing also with this is that uh, it is not divided in six strands. It's only one strand. So if you stitch with this, they recommend two strands. So I'm just going to pull out a long one and kind of lay it double. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a channel that is all about all kinds of cross stitch. Uh, so if you uh, haven't done so already, I hope you will consider subscribing. And yeah, let's continue. Oh, I have double length of 
thread so that I can nest it with two strands on this 14 count. It is a little bit thicker, so um, I don't know if um, if I f feel that it is a little bit bulky looking, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So far, yeah, it is a little bit bulky, and I actually like only using one strand. This is uh, what it was called for, half stitching with only one strand. I kind of look there. I kind of like that, but yeah, let's see. So now I'm going to find out where I am starting. And this is, uh, I think I found out it was down here. Right. So... This is one, this is two, this is three, so I think it's up here. Yeah, let's try that. I will try to lay this down a little bit. My um, clamps here. I can angle them, so I think I'm going to angle them. Because I think this is a little bit too up. Upright? Yeah. Hold on. I think maybe this is better. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it can be a hard thing to um, stitch with a paper pattern. If you're used to, like me, stitch a lot with um, a pattern keeper, it's a little bit, yeah, it takes a little bit more effort to uh, kind of find out where are you and where are you going next and constantly looking at this uh, paper uh, but i'm just checking if i am in the right place uh, because it's annoying if i'm not i'm here i'm here so this is there this is there and yes i am so i am stitching seven skip two This name came with the set, with the kit, and uh, this needle came with the kit, and I actually really love it. It's very nice with this uh, type. It it's easy to find the hole. It's not too pointy. Uh, it's a little bit thick, but um, you are using a thick thread, so yeah, kind of like it. It's nice for my fingers. <laughs> now I'm quite close to the camera, so. I have to turn the volume down. Can't get it all, you know. Maybe I can. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you down a little bit. Just a minute. Then I'm not so close. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am. Let's see. So uh, I'm going to lock the foot. No, I'm really crooked now. Yeah. So I'm going to lock the focus. Where are my fingers? Here. I think it's locked now. Let's hope. Let's hope it's working. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to skip two. Almost forgetting that. Yeah, skip two, stitch three. As you can see, I'm not talking very much. I'm very concentrating, so uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm think I think I'm going to do a voiceover because. Uh, I really cannot concentrate. I, I fear I will uh, kind of um, stitch wrong. So, voiceover coming up. So, this is Lona doing a voiceover.
So, uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Lone and I'm from Denmark. So that is why my English is kind of um, weird. <laughs> but I'm doing my best. So about this uh, kit, yes, um, I am kind of still, I don't know if I can say new to cross stitch, but kind of, yes, because uh, I have been sitting for what, almost two years, I think. And in that time, I started out with small counted cross stitch and um, very small ones. And then I discovered the world of uh, stamp cross stitch and I kind of went that way. Then I gradually uh, moved towards bigger cross stitch counted. And now I am trying to, I am kind of exploring the world of um, yeah, designer, uh, designer kits, counted designer kits. So I purchased a Mareika one, um, yeah, I don't know, a couple months ago or maybe. And now I have tried this uh, Riolis, and so I'm, I'm, I think I'm, my, um, my mission is to go through them all. <laughs> if I can. So uh, maybe dimension and, and whatever uh, nice designer kits there are. Not that I per se is going that way, but I would like to explore what is out there. So if you have, if you can suggest a nice, um, yeah, nice designer uh, kits uh, brand, then uh, please let me know in the comments. This particular one, I just fell in love with it because of, I think it's a fun one and uh, that is, uh, I actually like to do fun little ones and uh, this is not a big one and that is very suitable for my head. Sometimes I can get, I do have a bipolar uh, um, condition, bipolar, um, yeah, I do suffer a little bit from um, uh, depression and anxiety and stress um, so uh, that's sometimes I just need smaller projects so that I can yeah see my way out of <laughs> it can be overwhelming with big projects um, so yeah it really spoke to me this one and uh, there's not a lot of colors it's uh, and I really wanted to try that uh, wool acrylic thread so um, yeah I went for that one. It was not too expensive, so that's good. Also, <laughs> uh, about my stitching week, yeah, it has been a nice stitching week. Uh, a little bit um, overwhelming, really, because uh, at the same time that I was uh, stitching, uh, trying to get some stitches in, I decided to uh, finish my three designs that I have been working on to my Etsy shop so that I I don't know I think I was uh, um, working with that I'm, I'm using floss cross as a program for um, designing your cross stitch I think I was working from morning to night and just um, putting in stitches and trying this trying that changing colors changing symbols Man, that was uh, hard work. So I, I felt like my um, my brain got, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I really went tired in my head. So I think I had a couple of days where I didn't stitch at all. Uh, I was only working with that designs, but I got them done and they are up at my um, Etsy webshop now, which is called Camino Stitching. Mostly there is um, cross stitch with um, Camino symbols, uh, Camino, Camino stuff, and the Camino is a pilgrimage in Spain, which I have walked several times, uh, and <clears throat> others in Europe, and um, for me and for others as well, it's nice to can either stitch a memory of your journey or maybe bring something that is not too heavy in your backpack. So I designed some smaller ones that you could bring or do afterwards. Um, but I have also designed <laughs> some other ones. Uh, Little Mermaid of Copenhagen I finished and I finished a pigeon in the garden spring and 
a little, uh, I don't know if you know about that, uh, hidden, hidden disability sunflower uh, symbol. You can get keychains and it's kind of um, tell the world, maybe you, if you're go, going uh, flying and in the airport, that tells the, the crew, uh, the person that is working there that you may need some extra time or extra assistance of some kind. And uh, I have used it many times uh, and it's really, really helpful for me. So I feel that um, a lot, lot around the world, even I traveled to Egypt last year and they knew about that there. So I feel that it is something that is getting more and more, um, yeah, um, awareness. So that's nice. So I designed a uh, sunflower, uh, obviously because it's a it's a thing. So I couldn't uh, copy it. So I need to uh, try to do my own little one. And um, so because of copyright and stuff. So I have designed one that looks like it, but not a copy. That way you can attach it to, for example, your backpack or whatever you are your jacket if you want that and it's not a big one so uh, yeah, i designed that but other than that it is uh, mostly camino stuff but if you're interested in trying uh, my designs and uh, supporting uh, my um, my little shop i think i have 13 sales by now <laughs> so uh, i'm not aiming you know for a lot of sales but if you are interested in that um, I have a um, I have decided that all my subscribers and viewers um, for I don't know how long but for now anyway there's a discount code available it's called random seven five and it gives you 75 percent off so and they are cheap um, already so it's going to be almost free <laughs> so if I could, I would have given you a hundred percent because I would like people to try my designs, but um, I couldn't. Etsy wouldn't let me. So 75 was the highest I could do. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But it's fine that you don't want it. It's fine. It's just, it's the option. So, yeah. But, yeah, I have been stitching, I think out of the seven days, I've been stitching, what, five days? So I have been touching, yeah, Freddy. I have been working on him. I've been working on the Viking gnome. I have been working on um, Green Lady. I've got a lot of stitching in Green Lady, actually. What else? I have been stitching on, yeah, I finished. I have been, I've been stitching on the mini cities, London. Yeah. So I think that is it. And today, uh, yesterday, I started that Riolis. I think I'm going to start up that um, Gnomes in the Garden. Actually, I just need to find it <coughs> because I haven't found it yet. <laughs> so, yeah, but it has been a nice uh, stitching week. It's not been the most um, been a stitching week where I have been doing a lot, but I have been doing something. So, and yeah, that's great. Yeah, so the weather in Denmark, yeah. Let us say today is the 12th of April. So we are in the middle of April, which in Denmark and maybe other places is a very shifting weather situation. <laughs> and it really is. Oh, man. Uh, it has been, I feel like the whole year has been a lot of rain. We are almost drowning in rain in Denmark. There's so much uh, mud and, oh, man, it's... Um, it's horrible. There's so much mud and, and big uh, pile of water everywhere. Uh, and on top of that, it has been very windy. But uh, I think there was one day recently that was a very good day with the sun. And yeah, it's quite, quite like spring, finally. Uh, but it was one day, one day only. And we went to a place where we have been many times. It is called Frekshop Plantation. It is a nature area where it is so gorgeous. Uh, you have wood, you have 
bigger area with um uh, yeah i haven't got the word for it right now but it's very very beautiful it's uh, not something that is maintained it it gets it gets to be wild maybe they they take down some trees sometimes because yeah um, but uh, they don't um, they they leave them and that way it gives the insects and birds and yeah uh, yeah it uh, it's good for the wildlife <laughs> Um, so uh, we went there and we walked, I think, six or seven kilometers. And we actually brought Albert and we were very much unsure if he could walk that far because he's not an old dog. He's six years, but I didn't know if, um, yeah, it has been winter. And we haven't been doing long walks, so, but we decided let's try. And if it, yeah. If he didn't want to go the last kilo kilometer, I have to carry him. But he did walk and he was happy all the way. So when he was younger, um, he could walk up to 10 kilometers. Uh, but it was around that time where both my husband and I were better shape. So we actually did walk longer. <laughs> now I think six kilometers is quite uh, yeah, long. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it goes sometimes, you know. When you get older, you kind of also get a little bit lazy. Some do. Anyway, I do. <laughs> so I need to plug in here. Okay. So, yeah. But uh, it was very, very nice. Uh, we kind of regretted we didn't have bre we didn't bring uh, coffee and snacks or maybe lunch because it was so beautiful. It was also a lot of water. I have never seen... There is lakes in the, the area. I have never seen so much water in those lakes. The uh, lake, they were almost like melted together in one big pool, and a lot of the the, the roads were um, flooded. So we need to find a um, path, different path, and we actually found one, and we have walked there for uh, what seven eight years now, coming there several times a year. We found a path we had never walked before. It was so beautiful. You were kind of high up, so you have had the most wonderful view of the whole area. Man, it was beautiful. And, and Albert, he just loved it. <laughs> he, he just ran and, man, he enjoyed it. So it was oh, such a joy to watch him, a little dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... Um, these days, a lot of people are getting tax returns and we are also waiting for some money. And it's kind of um, something we do every year. We, we always hope to get tax returns <laughs> and uh, we usually do, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, we, we are not uh, expert in that. So it, it always comes as a surprise if it's, uh, you know, Ten dollars or thousand dollars, so um, because we uh, we are not um, clever enough to kind of calculate <laughs> to try and get the same amount every year. Uh, but yeah, and it, it has been some changes in my income because I got that early retirement last year. So yeah, but um, I am planning on when that uh, tax returns come. I think maybe Monday. Uh, I want to get my hands on some designer cross stitch kits. So if you could, <laughs> and if you have any suggestions, please let me know before Monday. <laughs> Write it in the comment uh, so I can go and look at uh, whatever you suggest. And um, yeah, and besides that, I am also going to be looking for outfit for a wedding because my daughter is getting married uh, early May and we are going to a, what's it called, a reception almost. Um, yeah, so I need, I need nice clothes. I am the kind of girl who uh, almost, I wear my t-shirts and trousers, um, that's my either jeans or kind of a leggings or something and a t-shirt that's the clothes i wear all the time and 
I actually don't have any nice clothes because I, I rarely go to anything. I have some dresses uh, because uh, I think yeah, before I, um, when I was uh, going to parties. <coughs> So I'm talking real time now. <laughs> the next color, I think I'm going to move up here and um, do a little bit on the windows. So I have a long row up here that is simple L. I'll see, it is uh, this one here. So it is a full cross number eight two strands so let's see if we can find number eight it is that gray address i don't like that anymore i feel like it's just not me uh, so i um, i need some new clothes and when i think about that uh, whenever i have bought clothes it has been in a second hand store of some kind so i feel like it's okay to kind of um yeah, spend a little money on myself. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. And a big thing I'm going to buy is actually a webcam. There is some uh, nice ones at the market now. Uh, I have been um, studying it on YouTube. Some videos that has uh, doing re reviews on uh, webcams, and there are some AI ones, 4K coming out. So instead of uh, spending money on a very expensive camera, you know, Sony or whatever it's called, uh, actually for that use, for my use, there are some options out there that is uh, quite good and enough. The one I have been eyeing on is, it's called Opspot Tiny 2. They, um, the review, <laughs> it's hard for me to say, the reviews I have been watching uh, kind of says a lot of nice words, uh, things about it. So I am, that is absolutely a, an option. I think it's about $300. So it is an expensive one, but still cheaper than buying a expensive camera. So yeah, that's the thing I'm going to be spending some of the money on. Yeah, so I'm very excited about that. I'm having so, I, maybe you know, I had been having a lot of problems with my phone when recording. Sometimes the audio fails. Uh, sometimes the light is just, yeah, not good. And I have had a lot of trouble. So, and I do have a webcam, but it's so bad. It, it when it, for example, I want to focus on uh, when I'm doing maybe a flush tube and I want to show you my uh, what I have been stitching and I kind of go close to it. It takes a hundred years to zoom in, to focus, not zoom in, to focus on it. And it drives me insane. So um, it's time to get a new one. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. Uh, but it's also a very big decision <laughs> because it is, for me, expensive. So, yeah, really want to pick the right one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, today I am. Um, when my husband comes home, we are going grocery shopping. Um, we are actually going to eat something. <laughs> yeah we are actually going to eat cake for dinner yeah what can i say instead of dinner we are going to eat cake it's kind of a cake but still not it is a apple crumble with some whipped cream no not whipped cream uh, sour cream on it just tastes so good there's a lot of calories in so we and it's really heavy you kind of you really full afterwards so we decided instead of doing uh, dinner and then have that afterwards which quite possible will uh, give us a stomach ache because we've eaten too much then we just skip dinner and go straight to a dessert <laughs> instead so yeah that is what we are going to do so we're going to shop groceries for that we need some sugar and yeah 
Uh, you are not interested, I guess, in my shopping grocery list. Uh, but yeah. And afterwards, I'm going to the library. Yeah, I got a notification about uh, that the three reservations I have done was ready to pick up, and it is three crusted books. So I'm very excited about that. Very excited about that. There is um, a couple of them is very old, so it's very old traditional crustage, and I'm so looking forward to seeing it. In our library, you cannot kind of see the books, um, not when you order them online anyway. You cannot see what's in the book. You can only see the cover. <laughs> so I try to find them online and see if I could see what's in the books. And yeah. I don't know. So it's free. So why not? So I'll try and we are going to pick it up today. So, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, um, I have been doing a video about my um, E. No, not E. My PDF cross stitch patterns. All I own. I hope I got them all. Um, I did the video and I uploaded it yesterday and I kind of, by mistake, uh, let it go online right away. And it was not meant for that. It is, it's going to be up Wednesday. And uh, so I'm sharing all of my uh, PDF crustage patterns there, all I have. So the video will be up there. And Besides that, there will be a video, um, I think Sunday or Monday, a flush tube. Because we are kind of halfway through the month. And uh, so I would like to kind of just a little bit update about what have, what have I been doing and how is it going and stuff. So that will be up, I think, uh, Sunday or Monday. Depending on how much time I get Sunday, uh, I, I don't know what my husband has uh, plans for. So maybe he has plans that uh, involves me. <laughs> Never know. So, uh, but I think if the weather is uh, going to improve a little bit, um, he's going to continue making those uh, flower pots. Not pots, but uh, big, big flower wood thing. Uh, that kind of serves several purposes. One is looks nice with flowers on the terrace, and the other thing is is kind of also a fence for our dog, so it doesn't run away. <laughs> and he's going to build it himself. Um, I actually think he said Sunday, and he's going up to a co-worker uh, colleague uh, that has a. Um, yeah, he has a a place where they can sew wood and whatever the machine is called they're using. Instead of him standing here on where he doesn't have the correct the the good tables and stuff for holding wood, I'm not good at explaining this. But he's going up there um, for seeing his friend and co-worker, and they will uh, do that. Do um, Oh man, I'm giving up. I can't. Uh, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> He's going up there and doing those flower things. Sunday, I think he said Sunday. So uh, maybe that's the day I will do my flush too. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, but uh, I think I'll stop for now, and um, I need to um, get new bed sheets on our beds, and I need to take a walk with Albert. I need to wash some clothes before my husband comes comes home. Also, maybe do the kitchen. Yeah, I have been enjoying myself <laughs> all day up to now, stitching and doing this video. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I stop now. I think in the video I kind of uh, do the outro. So yeah, I just think I'll stop this voiceover now. So, I got a little bit done today. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's very easy stitching this. There's not a lot of confetti. And um, I actually like the thread. It's a different experience. Of course it is. Because this is wool and acrylic. It's not cotton. So, um, 
but I actually really like it and uh, it's laying down uh, nicely it is the coverage is very very good um so uh, so far yeah i'm liking it so i have been doing here you can see maybe the um, some of the frame down beneath the side window and over here the last pit bit was this here the evil so uh, yeah I think I'm going to continue my uh, pink car, <laughs> my cute pink car, and up here there will be a cat. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking when I have done this part, I will do the cat because it can fit up here. I think over two grids, I think here, two squares. So uh, probably do that and then I will move the fabric up and do this down here. And of course, it's not long enough either. So it's, it's a small frame and I actually really like it. So uh, yeah, that was it from me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in the next one. Take care, happy stitching and happy weekend. Bye bye.